Welcome to the Daily Coffee Pro by Mappleford, friends. I'm Lee Safar, and today we're talking about the question you should be asking yourself to land more retail customers. Before we get started, thanks to our presenting sponsor, the Coffee Small Business Mastermind Group. We will be starting a new group as of July. If you're interested, no matter what time zone you're in, think about heading to the show notes clicking on that link and checking out what we have to offer. If you have any questions, send us an email on support at mapperforward.org today and we'll happily answer any questions that you've got. All right, so what is the question that you should be asking yourself if you want to get more retail customers? And the question is, what problem can I solve for my customer? Or what problem do they have that I can solve? It's essentially the same question. This is super important because it takes you on a journey of learning about your customer in ways that you weren't aware of before. It takes you on a journey of having to engage with your current customers and finding out if you actually are solving problems or whether you are just there because you're convenient for them. If you are there because they're convenient, you're leaving yourself, because you're convenient, you are leaving yourself exposed as to, let's say a competitor comes along and sees that they may be able to offer a proposition that outperforms what you're doing with your coffee shop or with with your roasted coffee. The moment they step in and are actually able to solve the problems that your customers have, they will win your business like that because they will be even more convenient than what you are or at the very least as convenient that you as you are solving problems for people makes their life easier if you and your business are able to solve problems for your customers you will have them for the lifetime of when they engage in that in that practice whether it be buying roasted coffee uh, during a pandemic or whether it be drinking decaf coffee while they're pregnant or whether it's as a long time coffee consumer understanding how to fix the problems of your retail customers is the way that you will keep them engaged with your business and it's a really great way to initiate a customer acquisition plan so new customers now how do you go about finding out if you are solving the problems of your customers well you ask if you're building the right relationship with your customers you will be having some kind of engagement whether it be through your mailing list your social media face to face whatever it is going out there and going on a campaign whether it be a a deliberate like suggestion box kind of situation, whether it be that you uh, have cards where you ask your customers to fill them out when they order their coffee, uh, if you are at the point where you've got people in your cafe or you send people a card in their subscription box that they can just slip back in the mail, postage paid and it comes back to you as a postcard, Uh, whatever, mailing list, no matter which way it goes, asking your customers uh, what problems that they're having that you could help solve would be a really great way to start figuring out if you're already solving them or not. Asking your customers how you could do better is also another example of how you can get a clear understanding of what your actual performance with your customers are. Asking them the question, why do they engage with your business? If they come back and tell you, well, you're convenient, uh, you're the cheapest, uh, you have good coffee, uh, I like your branding, um, I like the community around what you're doing, all of those things give you really important feedback about whether you're headed in a direction that could be sideswiped by a competitor that comes in and does solve problems or whether you're actually doing a great job around it. Now, how do you solve customer problems? 
This is uh, something that we're focusing on in the entrepreneurship and life currencies mastermind group at the moment. And that's outside of the coffee industry there are a couple of people in the coffee industry but this brings people from all industries into it and this is a more structured mastermind group so there are 12 modules and we cover uh, 12 very specific things about uh, ideation launching and growing your business and and cultivating those ideas and solving problems is something that we're focusing on right now particularly how do you solve those problems And an important thing to understand is another question that you need to ask yourself. What problems can I solve? As a business, what are the problems that I can solve? Now, if if you have a brick and mortar business, you can solve different problems for your customers than what a purely online digital business can solve. It's important to know what problems you can solve based on the kind of business that you have. So, for example, if you find out that your customer has a problem that they are new into the community and they want to uh, build more connections. So you hear a number of your customers say, the reason I like coming to a cafe is because I meet new people there. And you've got one, another customer saying that they want to meet new people, they love your coffee, it would be great if you had more events. If you have a digital business or an online only business, your approach to solving that problem may be something that you don't want to do. It may be something that you can't do, but a brick and mortar business is much more capable of doing that because they already have the space there. Now, you may, if you have only an online store, decide that this is a really great problem. We want to solve this and we can solve this. We could have an event and I have a a client who is launching a podcast and a blog uh, that we will be And it's a digital business, but we will be creating in-person events purely because the problem that he wants to solve in this business is creating community around people who don't drink alcohol. Uh, It's a lifestyle thing and a, a core value of that brand is community. He has decided what problems he can solve before he's launched his business so that he can then go on to ask the final question in this three-part question series around problem solving. Of all the things, all the problems I could solve, what are the problems I want to solve for, for, for my customers? And when you get to the point of understanding what the problems that your customers have are and the cost and the problems that you can solve, as well as the problems that you want to solve, then you've gone through that process. When you've gone through that process of asking those questions, you can then marry up where all the similarities are. So if your prob- if your customers have problems that you can't solve, there's a disconnect there and you've gained some important insight into how you may be able to restructure your business or your offerings so that you can bring more customers into the business. You also afford yourself the opportunity to remove any problems that you're trying to solve that your customers don't have. So if you are a a business that's trying to push specialty coffee, high-grade specialty coffee, and you're not hearing any of your customers say that the reason that they love coming to this coffee shop is because of the high-grade coffees that you offer um, and, you know, all those extra little bells and whistles that you're putting on there, I'm not saying remove them. What I'm saying is assess whether that's a problem you're trying to solve that your customer's not having. Perhaps many of the customers that are coming in are coming for the community, uh, for the chat with the barista, uh, for the, you know, it's the local place to be seen. The coffee that they're, that you've got, the, the blender that you've got coming through espresso is, that's, that's their jam. That's what everybody wants. Very few people are looking to buy the super expensive coffee. 
that may be a way for you to hone in the business practices that you have to become more profitable and then hold special events around the high-end stuff. So this is just something that we talk a lot about in our mastermind groups to help people constantly be on their toes and making sure that they're being the most effective when it comes to setting up and exploring their coffee-based business. I hope you found this helpful. Peace, love and peanut butter friends. Have an amazing rest of your day.